Welcome to this tutorial, Setting up your shipping paper software. This tutorial covers the Dangerous Goods Information System forms, or DGIS forms, and Masterform Express solutions. This tutorial is designed to make it simple and easy to use Label Master shipping paper software. In this tutorial, you'll see how to set up your new account and select default user options to begin creating accurate shipping papers. After purchasing your software, you'll receive an activation email. Click the link in the email message to register your account and activate your software. Review and accept the Label Master User License Agreement. If you've already created a Label Master software account, click Sign In. Otherwise, select Register to create a new account. Enter your user information. Then, select a username and create a password. Your password must meet the minimum security requirements shown on the screen. Next, log on using your new username and password. We suggest that you bookmark this page. Now, you can begin creating and managing your hazardous material shipping papers. Let's go to the Administration screen to set some default values for this account. Click Default Values. Default values include information that frequently appears on your shipping papers. By entering this information ahead of time, you can expedite future shipments and ensure the accuracy of your shipping papers. For example, you can enter standard shipment information. You can also create a shipper address or enter multiple addresses, which can be saved in your address book and quickly retrieved for future use. You can select any of the addresses in your address book to be your default address. For the purposes of this tutorial, select the address you just created. When you've finished entering your information, save the default values. You can come back and make updates at any time. Next, let's see how you can configure user options for this account. User options allow you to turn on or turn off special settings in the software to meet your specific shipping needs. Each option is described on the page. Carefully review the user options and select the ones that are right for you. If you have a color printer, you may want to select the option to print red hash marks on shipper's declaration reports. Then select Save Options. Now, let's switch to the Shipping Paper screen to see how these settings have been applied. You can see that the default values you selected have been pre-populated. You're ready to begin creating and managing your hazardous material shipping papers with ease and accuracy. For additional help, you can refer to the Help tab or call Technical Support at 800-578-4955. You can also visit dgis.com slash tech support for more information. This tutorial is now complete. Thanks for watching.